so we're really lucky because when we tell stories either in a drama or in documentaries, we lasso both. We give you the facts, that's why I said it's important, but we give you the heart and your heart you know, identifies and that's why these stories can be templates that we can use for our own lives, and they, I do think, shift opinions, and we could talk about where things have changed because I think Hollywood has been involved and told, told profound stories, or where documentaries have done the same. So for an example from what Darnell, for what Darnell just asked, um, I was at an event, Mershka Hargate, who's one of your clients, was so moved by the letters she was getting on SVU that she decided to start a foundation called Joyful Heart Foundation for women who had been sexually abused or, or, or physically abused and had secrets and, and giving them a safe place to, to talk with therapists. So um, I was at an event and a woman told her story about not being able to leave her home because her rape kit was never tested. So I heard this story, I, ran, I wrote it down on a cocktail napkin, I went to her, I said, tell me more about your story and she said, I went through a four to seven, a seven hour uh, exam, excruciating, they never opened my kit. This guy is still out there. And we know statistically that these guys have most often done it before and very often their DNA is in the system. So there's a lack of political will, lack of care, whatever. So I made that into an episode of, of SVU. And I do think about, I guess I'm like a story activist. So. I do think about how, I, it's not enough for me, maybe it's because I'm a physician too and I've been out there and I see sort of what people's lives are like when they are uh, sexually abused and they go through this, this kind of assessment or they're, they're the, the, um, victims of domestic violence. One of three women in an ER is a, is a victim of domestic violence. So I think it's incumbent on me to share that with the audience and so when I developed that story, I also worked with partners and opinion leaders. So what I did is I got Nick Kristoff and Ariana Huffington and Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International and I made a 30 second bubble tweet where I just took pieces from that episode where Mariska is saying 5,000 untested kits in Birmingham, 12,000 untested kits in Detroit. If, any of, if, if only her kit had been um, uh, tested, this guy would have been caught and he wouldn't have done this to other women. So that was 30 seconds. And then I bit lead it and I sent it to Nick and Nick tweeted it to his over a million followers as did all the others and pretty soon it had this viral um, dynamism that was just unbelievable. And now with Twitter we can embed links as well. So I could, at Human Rights Watch, domestic, a big domestic issue is opening the backlog of rape kits. So we could then link people to Human Rights Watch if they were emotionally moved by the show, and I'm not going to emotionally move everybody on every topic, I know that, but those snowballs will hit you at some point. It might be opening the backlog of rape kits, it might be on another topic, but it stings and you're gonna go. So we had a lot of people go to the link and they found out how they could go to their chief of police, how they could go to their city council members. We gave them a kit so that they could do it. And we opened the backlog of rape kits in Los Angeles and it's happening. And then Congress got involved and Mariska testified and it's now happening. So we're stopping this from occurring. So yes, I often think about how to do that. I think about it on Under the Dome where next week there's pestilence, the next week there's acid rain, there's dust storms coming, and we're gonna be able to link through transmedia. We have the first transmedia producer now at CBS who's on our show to give people ways to find out more. You know, we have a lot of stuff about monarch butterflies on our show and they're in danger and so you can go and find out more about monarch butterflies. So the point is is that these stepping stones of stories are just so powerful and I do think, I did think about that. I worked with participant. Um, and every week when I had a topic, typically every week there was some social justice issue on SVU, then I would send it to take part and then they could build um, uh, some links to connect people who are interested. So I think that's really, you know, the future is we will give you ways to take, you know, people are so busy. It's like we have to give them action steps and sometimes the action steps can just be so simple like here's a letter you can write to your congressperson or it can be here's a kit that you can use and here's how you can become an advocate and you can change things in your town and you can make them open the rate kits if that's what you want to do and certainly the beginning is the inspiration from the story.